partners. You just brought home your super cool garden in a box. And me and Captain Eggplant will show you how to put it together. It's easy. That's right, little buddy. Let's open up your box and see what's inside. Let's see here. You should have one purple Grom's box. Grom's magic soil, watering tubes with funnel and watering meter, a two-piece watering grid with ten grid supports, a pizza garden, which means you grow tomatoes, basil, bell peppers, and oregano from one garden. And the most important thing, stickers. <laughs> yeah. The first thing to do is to grab the two-piece grid. Start by snapping the first tab together. Once you do that, weave the two pieces together and snap the last tab to complete the process. Next, you want to snap the grid supports to your grid. Look for the oval holes. Once that's done, flip the finished grid over so that the supports are face down and place it into the bottom of your Grom's box. It should fit nice and snug. Assemble the two tubes. One has a funnel that goes on the top and the other tube you'll put the water meter in it. Then you place the tubes in the holes found in the grid. When done properly, the tubes will tilt out slightly. Now here comes the fun part, making your Grom's magic soil. You should make the soil in a large plastic container or a large plastic bag because the soil brick expands into more than two cubic feet of soil. Wow, amazing. Place the magic soil in your container and slowly add three to four gallons of warm water to it. Using your hands, you'll want to scrape off the loose soil as it loosens. Keep adding warm water until all of the soil is fluffy and dark brown. It helps if you have two people doing this. One person can pour the water and the other person can do the mixing. Now comes a very important step. Pay attention. You need to add the soil into the corners of the grid first because this is how water will be pulled up through the bottom of your box to keep your plants perfectly watered. Be careful not to get the soil inside those tubes. By the way, if soil gets in the meter tube, it won't float right, so you'll have to clean it out. Mom and Dad can actually shrink the styrofoam a bit, and it'll work even better. But make sure they shrink it evenly for best results. Once you fill the corners, lightly pat the soil. Then you can add the rest of your soil and cover the grid until all of your soil is almost to the top. The soil won't come to the very top because we need to leave room for when you add in your plants later. But guess what? Now comes my favorite part. Stickers! <laughs> Place your garden in a sunny spot that gets at least six hours of sun and have fun decorating your Grom's garden box with all of your new Grom friends. I love that part. Congratulations. You've put together your first self-watering Grom's garden. Now go register on Grohms.com and you'll find complete instructions on what to do with your pizza garden. Each week you'll get a new cartoon telling you exactly what to do. And in a short time you'll have fresh vegetables and herbs that you grew yourself. Best of all, you'll make new grown friends that will help you along the way so you can become an official gardening deputy. Woohoo! Until we meet again, friends. This is Captain Eggplant with Duke the Cuke, signing off. <laughs>